Hi, it's Tammy C. Walker, Life Coach, Therapist, Social Worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Today I want to talk about how forcing things truly does not work. We want what we want. God knows I do. But when we try to force, manipulate, coerce, whatever it is we do that's out of alignment with true nature or the natural flow of energy, it tends to get us more frustrated than anything. You remember 2008, the big housing bust? There were people buying homes that simply could not afford them, but they had to have that house. Mortgages they were not able to pay. And the market was in such a weird place that lenders were giving people homes that they couldn't even afford. And nothing worse than buying something you cannot afford to pay for. If you're a married couple or a couple buying a house, you can't afford the mortgage. It's going to create nothing but chaos in that house. Even if you're single buying a house, every time the mortgage comes up, you're going to get anxiety. You can't afford to pay it. Having a house, you have to pay for those repairs. Hot water tank, fascia, soffits, gutters, the roofing, painting, heat goes out. Anything, a furnace, I mean, furnaces are really expensive. Air conditioner, all of these things cost money. And when you buy a house, you're paying the mortgage, the insurance, the taxes, and those repairs. And I'm not against home ownership for people. I just did it at a very young age, and it taught me a lot. When you have kids, you want them to have their own space in their backyard to play in. But do it at a price that you can afford to maintain. You don't want to be house poor and you don't want to have a money pit. So take your time. Don't force yourself to buy a house. Give it 12 more months. Give it 24 more months. And save up the down payment. Pay off what you need to pay off and get a mortgage that's affordable where you can still live. Go out to dinner. Take a vacation. Have your car repairs if you need to have them done. This is all important, and sometimes we forget, because when we want something, we want it now. Same way with a car. Who doesn't like a nice car, especially a luxury car or SUV? A six, seven hundred dollars a month when you can't afford it, is that really luxury? That becomes a headache. A car is one of the worst things we can invest in because it depreciates as soon as it hits the lot. It doesn't go up in value, it goes down. So since it's 2019, you may want to go buy a 2017, 2018. It would take thousands off the car versus going to buy a 2019 now or 2020. It is good to have a new car. I like new cars too, especially for the warranty. But if you can't afford it, what's the use? So just be a little bit more calmer and we want to be smarter with our money and not force things. And someone often um, states this or has been said, what are the motives? A lot of people want things so they can appear to be this and that for others. When others are not even thinking about you. Trust me, they're not thinking about you because they're too selfish and too engulfed in their own stuff to give you an afterthought. So don't try to buy things to impress others. Get it because, hey, this is what I like and this is what I can afford. Because at the end of the day, we want to be happy, not forcing things to happen that's unnatural. And then we're, we're miserable. And of course, the relationship. My, oh my. That's the hardest one. Because we want what we want and we want who we want. But you are not going to make anybody love you. And, you know, as women, we all try to manipulate a relationship. And we know that guys are so different than us. There are... They don't show their emotions as much. And men are just as sensitive as we are. But the society we live in, men are supposed to be strong and don't cry and don't show depression. But they have feelings just like us. And, hey, a product of an African-American man from Mobile, Alabama from the 30s, I get it. You know, but I have to give um, kudos to my late dad towards his end of life. Um, he started showing me his emotions. I saw my dad cry at funerals and at my wedding. And he cried in front of me. You know, we were having a very um, sensitive conversation about his late mom. And he showed me some emotions. So 
men, I'm here with you. I know that you all are just as sensitive as we are. You just are not able to express it because you think it looks weak. But, you know, I get it. That's all I'm going to say on that. But as women, we don't want to manipulate relationships. It's hard, though, because when you love someone, you want it to work. I understand 100%. But manipulating is not going to get it. Forcing is going to make the guy run. Same in reverse. If a guy's with a lady and she's more of a street lady that likes to party and you want to turn her into this wife that's going to be at home, there's going to be some resistance because that's not who she is. So don't force things. Try to let it flow. I like to use nature as an example. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. A bird, she, a lady, a gentleman. Oh a, a mother bird is what I'm trying to say. She's going to kick her baby chick out of the nest. And she's going to make the nest uncomfortable for her chick by putting branches in the nest and just making it uncomfortable and using her wing to kick them on out the nest. I swear, every time I do a video, the damn train goes by my house. I just That's so annoying to me. You all don't know the half that I go through trying to create these videos. That's why I don't do as many as I would like. It's like, you know, I have great ideas and, I, and it seems like so much stuff trying to get, get to me. And that's how it is in life. I'm all the way off the track. But when you try to do positive and beautiful things, it's always obstacles. If I was on here telling y'all some stupid stuff, this would be flowing well. But because I'm positive and I want to really get good energy out, it's always it's always something. This is life, and I want you all to be prepared for this. Whenever you're ready to put out good energy, it's going to be so much shit coming your way. This has been the most challenging year um, for me. I graduated last year, and it's like so much stuff has happened this year. Relationship-wise for me, I had people close to me dealing with depression. I lost two relatives back to back. It's just like a lot of stuff. And and it's not nothing personal like, oh, we're coming to get Tammy. It's just life stuff. But I want to inspire you. Again, don't try to force things, but when you try to do positive stuff, it's going to be other stuff to try to trip you up. Just keep punching. Like punching a bag. Just keep punching. Keep going. Don't force anything. Be like nature. Just let it flow. When the rain comes, the grass grows. Nature nature has it. You know, we have what? Winter, spring, summer, fall. This is all God and nature. Nature. Nature is the best flow. So try to be like that with your life. Leave me some comments about how you feel about forcing things to happen and some things that's happened to you when you do try to force things that are not meant to be. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Thank you all for watching as always and have a great day.